Is Selena Gomez dating someone? Rare singer still healing from Justin Bieber relationship. Elena fans everywhere were devastated when Justin Bieber married Haley Baldwin and ended their hopes of a Selena Gomez reunion. However, the rare singer is reportedly thankful that she has put the relationship behind her. Gomez and Bieber dated on and off from 2010 until March 2018. In September of that year, Bieber married Baldwin, and in 2019, the couple invited their friends and family to a luxurious wedding to exchange vows for a second time. While the 25-year-old has been busy adjusting to life as a newlywed, sources told Us Weekly that Gomez has been focused on herself. The Lose You To Love Me singer is said to be extremely relieved that she can finally close the chapter of her life that was dedicated to Bieber. She loved being able to tell her truth through her own art and her own way. It took a lot of discipline, obedience, and strength to get her mental and emotional health back in a good place, the insider revealed. As part of her goal to focus on herself, Gomez isn't actively dating. While she isn't opposed to getting into a relationship, her mental health is her top priority. Right now, she is focusing on that as well as her music and isn't actively looking or going out of her way to be in a relationship right now, the source explained. She is still healing, but now knows what kind of guy she would want to date, and what qualities he would need to have in order for her and her future boyfriend to be in a healthy, thriving, loving and supportive relationship. However, Gomez wasn't the only one who struggled to recover from her 2018 breakup. Bieber told Zayn Lowe on Apple Music that he had to work on himself before he committed Baldwin. Before that, in my previous relationship, I went off and just went crazy and went wild, just was being reckless, the yummy singer confessed. This time, I took the time to really build myself and focus on me, and try to make the right decisions and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, I got better. How Selena Gomez feels about Justin Bieber, two years after their breakup. On March 1, 2018, Selena Gomez posted her very last Instagram of Justin Bieber, making their renewed relationship as Instagram official as it got before it faded out later in the month. Their break became a breakup as winter became spring, and in June, Bieber started his whirlwind romance with Haley Baldwin. Those two are married now, of course. But Gomez is doing great too, Us Weekly reports. She's over the on-off Bieber drama that consumed her life for most of her late teens and early to mid-twenties. And she's thrilled that she can put that chapter behind her musically too. Selena feels extremely relieved that she could finally share her side of the story and be at peace with finally closing that chapter of her life with Justin, a source told the outlet. She loved being able to tell her truth through her own art and her own way. It took a lot of discipline, obedience and strength to get her mental and emotional health back in a good place. That source added that Gomez isn't actively looking for a boyfriend right now, but she's open to the possibility. She's focused on her music and mental health. She isn't actively looking or going out of her way to be in a relationship right now, the source said. She is still healing but now knows what kind of guy she would want to date and what qualities he would need to have in order for her and her future boyfriend to be in a healthy, thriving, loving and supportive relationship. Gomez shared the most about her relationship with Bieber during her NPR interview in January. She confirmed her song Lose You To Love Me was about him and described him as being emotionally abusive to her at points. I had something beautiful and I would never deny that it wasn't that, Gomez started. It was very difficult and I'm happy it's over. And I felt like this was a great way to just say, you know, it's done, and I understand that, and I respect that, and now here I am stepping into a whole other chapter. Saying goodbye to Justin Bieber, who I'm assuming you're speaking about, NPR's Lulu Garcia Navarro said. You had to get the name in, I get it, Gomez conceded. Garcia Navarro asked if getting over Bieber and that relationship was one of the harder parts of her life she had gone through. No, because I've found the strength in it, Gomez said. It's dangerous to stay in a victim mentality. And I'm not being disrespectful, I do feel I was a victim to certain abuse. You mean emotional abuse? Garcia Navarro asked. Yes, and I think that it's something that, I had to find a way to understand it as an adult. 
and I had to understand the choices I was making. As much as I definitely don't want to spend the rest of my life talking about this, I am really proud that I can say I feel the strongest I've ever felt and I've found a way to just walk through it with as much grace as possible.